there. More breaking news this noon as Kent just mentioned out of Hartford where we've learned there's a connection between the search of an apartment and that plane crash in East Hartford and that's where we find News 8's Noel Gardner. She is live at the scene with the very latest. Noel. And Brian, we talked to the owner of the Ritz Grand Apartments. He tells us this investigation this noon is in relation to the plane crash. Right now, the FBI is here investigating, along with local law enforcement. And neighbors tell me SWAT team was here last night. They raided an apartment occupied by usually four men. Four men, they say, go to flight training school and always wearing their flight training outfits. I want to give you a live look right now what the scene looks like. Neighbors tell me before midnight last night they saw big guns, rams to break down the doors. They say men were dra dressed in tactical gear. Neighbors also tell me a handful of men who lived at this apartment complex were in flight training school together and always dressed in their uniforms, blue pilot uniforms. That said, flight training. It was four men that lived in one apartment down there, and it's like four over there. They, used, they seem like pretty nice people. They come and go. They was buying them, you know, ordering pizzas, and they say hi. All I ever seen them is in the uniform. I never seen them dressed, you know, in regular clothing. And, that. and neighbors tell me the men lived here for several months, but they haven't been seen in several days. I'm reporting live this noon in Hartford. Noel Gardner, I'll send it back to you in the studio, Brian. All right, Noel, thank you very much. As a reminder, be sure to stay with News 8 throughout the day, both on air and online, for continuing coverage of the East Hartford plane crash. Of course, we'll have the very latest developments coming your way tonight on News 8 starting at 5.